Hi, welcome to lesson 5 of this video course. In this lesson 5, we we'll have 5 episodes to discuss about. On the first episode, we will learn how to count numbers from 1 to 10 in Chinese language. And the second episode, we we'll also learn how to count numbers from 11 to 100. And the third episode, the third episode, we will learn how to ask and say your age in Chinese language. And the fourth episode, we will also learn about the motor particle le and the interrogative pronoun ji and lastly discuss about the stroke orders so stay tuned for this first episode if you already know how to count numbers in chinese language that is fantastic because this video is an excellent review for your studies but what if you don't know how to count at all in chinese language this is the right time to start learning zero in chinese is pronounced as ling ling it has a third tone of Chinese language, third tone, laying, falling on rising tone. But in case if it is difficult for you to record the pronunciation, you can use the laying in linguistic to record the sound. Laying in linguistic. One in Chinese is pronounced as e e. Repeat after me. E just like when you want to say if. E, it has a flat tone of Chinese language. Flat tone. E, two in Chinese is pronounced as R. R. It has a falling tone of Chinese language. Falling tone. R. R. Three in Chinese is another easy number to pronounce. San. Sun, it has the fourth tone of Chinese language, the first tone, which is the flat tone. Sun, very simple to pronounce. Four in Chinese is pronounced as si. Si, repeat after me. Si, it has the fourth tone of Chinese language. The fourth tone is the falling tone. Si. Five. In Chinese is pronounced as wu repeat after me wu it has the falling rising tone the falling rising tone is the third tone of Chinese language wu repeat once again wu beautiful now we have learned how to count lane E R San Su Beautiful. Now let's learn how to count from six to ten. Six in Chinese is another easy word to know. Liu repeat after me. Liu it has the falling tone of Chinese language, which is also the fall tone. Leo, you can use the English name Leo to record the sound. Leo, people answer as Leo. Leo, six, seven in Chinese is pronounced as T. Repeat once you hear T. It has a flat tone, which is the first tone of Chinese language. T, just like when you want to make the sound T. T. But why pronouncing this seven in Chinese? There must be airflow from your mouth, a very strong airflow. T eight in Chinese is another easy number. Ba repeat after me. Ba it has the flat tone of Chinese language. The flat tone. Ba nine in Chinese is pronounced as jiu. Repeat after me. Jiu. Jiu. It has a third tone of Chinese language. Jiu. Jiu. Repeat once again. Jiu. And lastly. Shi. Shi. Meaning what? Ten. Shi. Not pronounced as qi. Qi, what we have there is 
sh sound sh with a rising tone beautiful now let's practice together lean e r san su wu liu qi ba jiu shi shi now let's read from 10 to 1 shi jiu ba qi liu wu su san er yi ling good if you really don't know much about tone markings in chinese language you can go and watch the lesson one of our hsk1 course you watch the videos on tone marking to learn more and importance of tones in chinese language if you don't know about your tone in chinese language nobody will understand what you're saying in chinese language so tones is very important now today we'll be rounding up here today in our next video we will learn how to count from 11 to 100 this time around it will be very easy for us because the numbers we'll be making use of is numbers from 0 to 10 so it will be very simple for us so what you have to do is to practice make sure you learn how to count from 1 to 10 learning from 11 to 100 will be very easy for you if you enjoyed this lesson don't forget to hit on your red subscribe button turn on your notification bell for more video updates see you next time in our next video course goodbye Tai Tian.